Up next on Live It Up, we're going to be learning about auctions from none other than an expert himself. It's Richard Malls. Welcome to the show. How are you? Very well, thank you, Don. And you represent Malls Auction. Brand new name, right? It used to be called something else. Our former name was David R. Maltz and Company. Uh, was around for over 35 years. My father founded the company. And most recently with our company growth, um, we felt it appropriate to rebrand and go with the name Maltz Auctions, Inc. Um, one of the primary reasons it really gives instant recognition as to what we do. Uh, we do have an incredible presence um, on Long Island and in the tri-state area. And uh, recently we, we've had uh, quite a few auctions on a national and international basis and um, really felt it appropriate to give um, the ability for instant recognition as to what our firm does. Now, growing up uh, in this family, do you remember your first auction, what the experience was like? My first auction, I don't know if it was the very first, but I remember one of the beginning ones was standing on the boat docks with my father. And um, he was selling, I don't know if it was 30, 40, or 50 boats um, down in an anchorage. And um, I remember shifting weight uh, from people so the floating docks actually didn't sink and jumping from boat to boat. And um, <laughs> it, it was a very fun experience. And what's another interesting thing over the years that your family has auctioned? Um, I remember a house on Dune Road in East Quag that he sold a very long time ago. Um, and I had the job of turning on and turning off all of the lights. It <laughs> took a very long time. <laughs> a lot of lights. Yes. So now I was talking uh, in the green room earlier before about um, going to an auction because you can always get a great deal on something. But you were sa stating that it's also more for a seller, the service that you provide, uh, and you're experts in real estate. So let's talk about that from a seller's standpoint, why they would want to auction their real estate through you. Sure. So, you know, it's very interesting that you brought that up. There is a common misconception that auctions create the ability to steal a piece of real estate. Um, ultimately, if a property is properly marketed um, and there's a competitive, vibrant bidding environment, a property is going to bring what it's worth. Okay. One day it may bring a little bit less, another day it may bring a little bit more. Um, but ultimately, we create an environment uh, with a sense of urgency that puts bidders in a competitive environment and it's an efficient way to sell property. Um, up till five or six years ago, uh, up till five or six years ago, we exclusively did work for lending institutions, bankruptcy trustees, government agencies. Um, and then I saw what I thought could be the potential for another growth avenue um, into the private non-distressed real estate auctions. Um, and it's been incredible. You know, year over year, our growth has been between 50 and 75 percent in the private non-distressed real estate side. You have some wonderful stats. Can we talk a little bit about those stats? I mean, you're, you've been doing stellar growth year after year after year. We have. Uh, 2014 is going to exceed $100 million in sales. Um, over 70 percent of that is from our real estate auction division. Um, so we're pretty excited to see what 2015 will bring. And the signage, I mean, you know, you're, you're well branded and well recognized, but now you're going to be doing all new corporate branding under Malls Auctions. We are. We're going to be rolling out a new website. Um, we're very excited to be fine tuning that, um, as well as all of our other signage that we have on the roads and on our building. So you suggest that people um, that are, you know, business owners, I know that you have a building uh, two doors down from here that you even sold. So do you suggest that people, the first step is to maybe go to your website, do a little research, or do you give uh, consultations with companies? How could somebody get involved if they we, wanted to do this? Like we, first steps. We have a tremendous amount of information available on our website uh, okay. for buyers as well as for sellers so they can learn a little bit more about the process. Um, we're always available to answer questions about how it may work after they understand the process a little bit more. Uh, they can give us a call and we can walk them through the process and discuss what possible options they have, whether an auction is a good fit for them or isn't a good fit. Uh, we can also work with them as to their selling price expectations. Um, most people have uh, inability to recognize true market value versus what they would like their property to be worth. Um, so we have an initial conversation to try to figure out, you know, what is today's perceived true market value? Um, do you have realistic expectations? And provided you do, you know, we'd love the opportunity to work with them. And you probably also have the um, analytics, you know, of past sales because you've done so many before that you can kind of give them an analysis of where they should price it and what it's going to sell for, and it makes all the guessing work kind of taken out of it. it. It definitely helps having a tremendous database, you know, of past sales to look through. Um, and we sell everything, whether it's a $10,000 lot or a $19 million building. Um, across the board, there's very little we haven't sold. What do you like most about what you do? It's always something different. Um, and each property is unique into itself. 
You know, there's always slightly different attributes that he could either could make it worth just, uh, that could either make it worth significantly more or significantly less. And have you ever, um, you know, lived in one of the properties that, or, or worked in one of the properties that you got at an auction? No, then, we're not allowed to that's bid just, or buy anything. That that would be a conflict. It's an integrity of issue. See, Absolutely. that's the one thing that I learned about your company is that the integrity is bar none, and that's one of the most important things because in this industry there is a lot of shady, shady going on. But you guys aren't known for that. Correct. Um, unfortunately, the auction history in the past um, part of how my father was able to grow his business was always uh, holding himself to a higher standard, um, and over time he gained more and more clients and more and more business. Um, so that's one thing he instilled in me since I was, you know, this tall, that um, you only have one reputation and don't do anything to even create an appearance of an impropriety. It's not worth it. Very good words. Absolutely very good words. Well, thank you for being here. Um, and you, you never know, you might see me at, an, at one of your auctions. Paddle number 17, it's my lucky number. It's not really how they do it, is it? With paddles? No, it's no. Much. But hey, you never know. But I'll be holding my paddle, so stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We've been visiting with Richard Malls from Malls Auctions.